For years, efforts in developing autonomous systems have focused on replicating the human brain through machine learning. But one UK-based startup thinks that there may be a better model, the honeybee. Engineers at Opteran think nature has already solved autonomy and they've been researching the brains of honeybees to derive algorithms to teach robots and drones collision avoidance. A honeybee is a uh, fabulous visual navigator. They can understand the world they're in over a 10 kilometre radius. They can fly point to point and return to home and they can, can share information with other bees in the hive. Um, and then those bees can go to that location. That's exactly what robots need to do. Um, we have robots in warehouses that need to move around and get to certain locations and then come back and then do that dynamically without bumping into other things or if the environment changes. Um, we have the same with, uh, in the air with drones, um, uh, doing inspections, um, self-balancing autonomous bicycles, uh, navigating around the streets. Essentially what's happening is machines need to move more naturally. The system enables drones and robots to take panoramic views of the world around them, just like an insect would. Then, like a honeybee, the sensing technology calculates the optic flow across the field of vision, considering any obstacles and taking action to avoid collisions. The system has already been tested on drones and a robot dog named Hopper. Nature likes to solve things in the most simple way possible. It finds those solutions that stop you having to do a lot of computation that you didn't have to do. And one of the ways it does that is in how it perceives the world. So every animal that we know of that uses vision to navigate works out the motion of the world around it. We call it optical flow. And that's exactly how our technology works. And the company claims that basing algorithms on insect brains could be a more efficient way of creating AI. Importantly, it would also be a more affordable method for lower cost robotic applications. And that's the market that Opteran is targeting. The current approach to AI is fundamentally flawed because it's really based on a caricature of how real brains work. It's kind of a tiny piece of the puzzle that's just been scaled up and applied to lots and lots of data with lots and lots of compute power. But that means it's very fragile, doesn't work the way real brains work, and it's very opaque. We don't really understand what it's doing half the time. And that's just not a good enough solution for autonomous systems. Nature has come up with weird and wonderful ways of doing things that humans could never figure out. So maybe there's a lot more technologists can learn from the other creatures around us.